It is Friday, and it is time for Zur. Oh, boy, I can't wait to get to sleep after this. All right. Unfortunately, you know, it's big, big time spoiler alert right here. You yeah, don't really have that good of stuff this week, but you know, I, I should probably, you know, make you think it's amazing so you'll watch the video longer. Who knows? Hey, Zer, how you doing? You don't even have a Santa hat. <sighs> no Santa hat. Biggest disappointment thus, thus far for a winter event this is a legacy chest in Graham. You can buy it for 29 strange coins and get legacy chest pieces. Legacy. Not current light level. Okay, glad I made that clear. We have the Glass House, a solid intellect roll, so I'd definitely re-roll that if you end up picking this up. Blessing of the Light and Weapons of Light last longer. And you also have either uh, Gain Bonus Super Engie on Grenade Kills or Heavy Lifting Gain Bonus Super Engie from Heavy Weapon Kills on Means of the Darkness and then Innervation Bonus Grenade Energy on Orb Pickup. Uh, I mean, this is basically a helm that's supposed to make the... Buffs last longer for Blessings and Weapons of Light, which is great. You know, you can do more damage longer, or you can have your Blessing absorb uh, the same amount of damage, but for a longer period of time. Uh, th there's a lot of better options for PvE, in my opinion. This is still a good one for group buffs if you have, like, multiple Titans, but still, Ruin Wings are really, really good. Um, I'm blanking on all the exotics right now because I've been up for about 24 hours. But yeah, it's it's good. It's not one of the best exotics, but it is a it is a solid one to pick up if you plan on running Defender in PvE. Young Amkara Spine, Discipline and Strength. All right, good roll then. Increased Trip Mine Grenade Duration. Gain an additional Trip Mine Grenade. This one has Auto Rifle Reload um, or Shotgun Reload. And then Fastball Grenade Throw Distance and Impact Induction Bonus Grenade Energy on Melee Hits. Uh, I've been, always been a fan of these gloves. Having two trip mines is definitely good. And then the duration takes them up from, I think, five seconds? I can't remember what their base is, but I know it makes them last up to 30 seconds, which is really, really good because you can zone off an area for a very long time, and a lot of people just kind of end up forgetting that trip mines even exist. Unfortunately, trip mines did get a nerf a while back, so they don't do as much damage. They don't stick targets, but still, if you like using trip mines, you should really highly consider using these for either pve or pvp they are very very good that increased duration just you, you don't realize how good that is until you actually experience it that's what she said void fang vestments spawned with full grenade how many times has he sold this in like the past couple weeks i feel like god i'm having deja vu here Discipline and Strength, definitely one of the better rolls we've seen. Spawn with Full Grenade, Energy, Axiom Bolts gain an additional Seeker, and then we got Pulse Rifle Ammo or Sidearm Ammo, Solar Burn Defense, Void Armor. Interesting. Uh, you know, it, 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 no matter the grenade that you have for any subclass, you will spawn with Full Grenade Energy. And then if you happen to be using Axiom Bolt, you will be uh, getting an additional charge on the Seeker. However, man... Uh, Ophidian aspects are just so much better. Um, these these are still good for PvP if you because I mean every single trials round you will definitely respawn with grenade energy and that is good. But I don't know. There, there's there's other stuff out there. It's good if you don't have anything else. And this is an okay roll as well. Zalo Supercell Arc projectiles have a chance to chain lightning together when enemies are close, and then double kills with this weapon charge a small amount of super energy and return ammo to the magazine. And then it has persistence, which makes it even more stable when firing longer. You got smart drift control. Uh, this is this is one of my favorite exotics personally. I really enjoy it. I have all the, I have, yeah. I have all the ornaments for it. Um, it's probably one of the most exotic of the exotic weapons because it also has arc damage on a primary. It's like the only elemental damage primary out there. So if it's a week like this one where we have arc damage in the weekly, getting Zalo Supercell just makes these strikes so easy. You burn through enemies with it. Uh, this is definitely one of the top weapons right now if there's ever an arc burn on an activity. Plus, it's just a really good gun, too. You know, you're charging your super. Every time you get a double kill, you're getting more ammo back. You can fire it for a stupidly long time in most strikes since double kills are pretty easy to get. And then the uh, chain lightning effect does a ton of damage as well. This is probably one of the top PvE exotics, in my personal opinion, because it's just really consistent. It's consistently good, does a little bit of everything, and it does a little bit of everything way better than a lot of the other things that's supposed to try to do one thing really well. So, 
pick this up. This is one of the top exotics. You definitely need to pick this up if you do PvE at all. Plasma drives, the blue one. Emerald coil drives, the green one. If you have any blue quality sparrows, you can you know upgrade them to, to different colors. These, they cost three strange coins now, but you get ten of them. You get ten. Ten heavy ammo cents for the price of three instead of, I think it used to be one. One strange coin gets you three, and then now it's three gets you ten. I don't know math too well, but I know that is a direct net increase of like one, something like that. It's, I've been up too long. Three of coins. We got three of coins here. You know, you can use these, get some more exotics. Maybe you can get Ophidian Aspects because Xur's yet to sell them. Man, I'm going to have a fun week when he finally sells those. Glass Needles to re-roll that helmet. And then Motes of Light. But more importantly, this guy is finally selling exotic shards. Yes, thank you, Bungie, for putting this back in because I was tired of spending 13 strange coins to get uh, exotic shards. Now you only got to spend seven. Thank you. This is a very... Very good change for those that maybe get a bunch of exotics as they first start out, and now they can finally level them up without having to dismantle other exotics. Sweet. Thank you, Bungie. This is very good. All right, and that about does it for this week. If anything, buy Zala Supercell if you don't have it yet. It's really, really, really good. And then Zer still doesn't have a Santa hat. I just left a little bit of silence there to have a little end card later, everyone.